Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Indian Yarnivore. I have a real treat for you today. This is the Heartbeats Sholly from Ganga Acrovolts. The moment I came across this yarn range on Amazon, I got extremely excited and a little carried away. So I bought all these five different colorways because they looked so attractive. Let me show you a close up of the yarn band. So it is uh, the Heartbeats range of premium yarns. It is listed as a wool and a mohair blend. They say that it's a three lightweight yarn, which I think is an error because if at all, this is a one weight yarn as I'll be showing you. They recommend a 3.5 millimeter knitting needles and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, which again is completely inaccurate. With regards to the blend of fibers, it is actually 84% acrylic and the wool fragment is quite small. It's just 8% wool and it's 8% mohair. One ball is about 150 grams of yarn. The length comes to about 810 meters and it retails for 280 rupees per cake. The washing instructions are given on the label, which is good. So wash only in lukewarm water up to 40 degrees, dry in the shade, dry flat, reshape while wet, do not iron, may be dry cleaned. Pretty much the standard instructions for an acrylic wool blend. Uh, the shade number, this particular shade is SHL006, dye lot number is 2. Now let me show you a closer look at the colorways which really caught my attention. So if you look at this yarn cake, I would say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors in this single cake yarn. And look at this ball and tell me that you don't find this pretty. There are these beautiful light blue to a denim blue. Uh, there's two shades of light green that go into a sort of light turquoise um, green greens. I don't know how to describe these greens. Anyway, the outermost uh, seem to be shades of mint green. The colorways are extremely well put together and I was supremely happy looking at these colorways. Let me show you a closer look at the others. This is the second colorway that I have and I love these neutral, uh, neutral muted tones. It starts on the outside with a sort of, uh, let's say, coffee brown. Then there is a, a, a peach like shade, a little bit of a cream and then some beautiful greys and then uh, on the innermost you have this more of a chocolatey brown and then you have a grey brownie mix. So just, just look at how beautifully the colorway is put together. And that is shade number SHL001. The next shade that I have is um, again some muted pastel colors so we have some pastel oranges or should i be calling that peach and we have um, how do you define that uh, maybe like a pastel orange and then we have a pastel yellow some cream some pastel pinks and a gray to tie it all together so again another beautiful colorway and that was shade number SHL002. The next shade that I have, I was really drawn to because I like the darker and deeper colors. And this seems to be so beautifully mixed. There are those deep berry tones and also a beautiful brown, a sort of biscuit color. And there's also these, uh, you know, peaches and creams. I'm not even trying to count uh, the number of shades that are there in this one single cake, but you can see how beautiful that looks. And the shade number is SHL003. I did buy one more uh, colorway in this cake yarn, and uh, this is again some beautiful denim shades, minty greens, light blue, beautiful cream. And uh, I uh, and uh, there was also a bit of grey in this. So uh, this is uh, kind of a broken up uh, cake because I have already used quite a bit of this yarn. 
uh, to make a project of mine which i'll be showing you on seeing the yarn cakes uh, online i was so excited looking at the colorways and uh, on this reading the description they said it was a three weight yarn so i like working with three weight yarns i like four weights the most but um, three weight is not so bad most of the yarns i work with are three weight yarns so i didn't think twice before going ahead and purchasing five colorways of this now when i got the yarn uh, the first thing i noticed was that the yarn cake is very soft lovely soft it's silky soft right but take a look at the yarn thread now that i would say is a one weight so that's like a lace weight yarn and i know that you know i can imagine um projects like you know beautiful soft elegant sweaters being knitted up in this yarn uh, or even crocheted up in this yarn but it's going to take so much time and i'm not really a huge fan of tedious projects so what i did instead was i held this yarn three strands of this together you can also notice the fuzz on the uh, the fuzz sorry the fuzz on the strands and that i'm assuming is the mohair that they say uh, is present so i held three strands of this yarn together and let me show you the project that i came up with take a look at that guys i think it's a lovely hat I know I made it myself and I probably shouldn't be saying that but I love it. I'll link the pattern uh in the description box below. But um holding the three strands together and using a 6.5 mm hook. 6 mm hook, sorry. So using a 6 mm hook and this is uh the hat that I came up with. I really love it. It looks really pretty. It's quite soft. I like the drapiness of it. It didn't turn out like a carpet. and of course because the threads are so fine i was also able to make uh, a pom pom uh, to go along with this hat so let me know what you think uh, of this yarn being worked up if you watch so long then i guess you know without me summing up that despite this being a dubious one weight yarn i really enjoyed working with it and i love the colorways I hope I'll have the patience to sit down and uh use the other colorways also come up with some projects that I can show you and if I ever wash this project I'll let you know how it holds up. I hope you really enjoyed today's review and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.